Alright guys, we got $58 in nickels. We have four old Jefferson Enders. A 1940. Old looking, old looking, and a 1954, I think. Yep. Can't see it because of the shadow. And we have actually one war nickel ender. 1944. No idea what mint mark, but we're going to save these for last. Let's hop right into it. Alright guys, we're three rolls in, and we have our first war nickel, or it looks like it's going to be 1944, Denver, let's keep going. Alright guys, very next roll, fourth roll, and we have 1945, our second war nickel, Denver, let's keep going. Alright guys, on the seventh roll, and we have a 1943, our third war nickel. S. Awesome. Let's keep going. Alright guys, 16th roll. And we have a dime in this roll. 1974 Denver. Let's keep going. Alright guys, 18th roll. And we have our fourth war nickel. Philadelphia Mint. <clears throat> 1943. Let's keep going. Alright guys, we're on the 19th roll. Very next roll. And we have a dime. It's another extra five cents. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we're on the 20th roll. And we have two more Warnicles, our fifth and our sixth. There's also a dime in this roll. Let's do that first, 2005. Pretty cool. The first one is a 1945 Denver. And the second one is San Francisco, 1945. Let's keep going. Alright guys, we're on the 24th roll. Um, after this, we're going to do these last five rolls here. And I found another silver nickel. Number seven, I believe. 1945 S. Awesome. Let's keep going. Alright guys, we're on the last five rolls. These four are old Jefferson Enders. And this one is actually a 1944 Warnicle Under. So, we'll save this one for last. And we'll start with these. I apologize if there's any background noise. But, uh, I can't do anything about it. So, we have a 1941 S, which was on the end. Um, go ahead and look through these. We have a 1952 Plain. I'll just set them, uh, I'll set them here. Um, <clears throat> we have a 1941 plane. And we have 57, 1957 plane. It's four, and that's going to be it for that roll. Dump that, and uh, I'm gonna do the next one here. And the one on the end was a 1954. Next one is a 1946, Denver. And we have a 1940 plane. Uh, ooh, we have a 1939 plane, 1941 plane, those there, and 1940 S, and that's going to be it. So, alright guys, now we're going to move on to this roll, the... Uh, oh, we have a war nickel. You can see it right here. You guys can see it. This is the third to last roll. So, pretty cool. We have our, uh, I think, let's count. Let's see. One, two, three, two, three, eighth war nickel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let me just put these 
Ray. Let's see, 1943, Philadelphia. Awesome. And I think I see a little die crack. I'll show you guys in the wrap up, but I think I see. I'll look at it a little more later. Uh, so, go through. One on the end was a 1940 plane. <clears throat> uh, we have a 1946 plane. 1941 plane. 1946 plane. And that's about it. So we'll move on to the next roll. Okay, I put this one away. Okay. Uh, second to last roll. Make sure you guys can see. There's a warnicle. And I don't think there is, but it looks like there might be a lot of old Jeffersons in this roll. So, uh, 1954 Denver. 1946 Plain. 19, whoop, 1956, Denver, 59, Denver, 41, Plain, 57, Plain, uh, 47S, 46, Denver, um, <clears throat> Man, there's a lot in this roll. 1946 plane. Uh, 46 plane. Uh, 48 plane. And I think that's going to be about it for that roll. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Old Jefferson's in that roll. That's pretty insane. Uh, I'll put these ones away now. And... Uh, the very last roll, the fifth roll, with the Warnicle Ender, 1944. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. Pop it out. So, the Warnicle's right here. Let's find out the mint mark. Ni uh, 1944S. Awesome, that's our eighth one think uh or it could be our ninth uh first old jefferson from this roll 54 denver uh this one might be one no and that looks like that's about it Oop. let's get to what we found all right guys here's the power setup here we have six uncirculated 1970 Denvers. Uh, I can finally fill the tube that I've been filling up of them from these types of nickels from these rolls. Uh, we got three dimes. That is 15 extra cents. And a uncirculated 1978. For the 50s old Jeffersons, we have all three, 59 Denvers, 5, 58 Denvers, 58 Plain, I don't know how many that is, uh, 57 Denvers, 57 Plains, 56 Denvers, 56 Plains, 55 Denvers, 54 Plains, 54 Denvers, uh, 53 Denver, 53 Plain, 53 S, uh, 52 Plains, it's quite a lot, and some 52 S's, a 1951 S, and a 1951 Denver. For the 40s, uh, actually not those, those are 40s, but we'll get to those. Um, 49 Denver, 
49 Plain, 49 S, 48 Denver, 48 Plain, 49, uh, 48 S, 47 Plain, 47 S, 46 Denver, 46 Plain, 41 Denver, 41 Plain, 41 S, 40 Denver, 40 Plain, and 40 S. Now for the 30s, we have four 1939 planes and two 1938 planes. And I think these have been, um, so the teller told me that um, a man brought them in whose grandma had died and these were her coins. So I'm thinking that the grandma or the lady had a bucket of old Jeffersons like this and um, they sorted out all the good ones like the 38 mint marked ones and the 39 mint marked ones but I don't think they knew about silver nickels or war nickels so we'll get to these uh, 245 Denvers 245 S's 44 Denver 44 S 343 uh, 3 Two forty-three planes, or Philadelphia's, and a nineteen forty-three S. Um, so yeah, I think these were all just in a bin, and the guy took them and rolled them all up and brought them to the bank. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. All right, guys. So it turns out we have a ton of old Jeffersons. So this is one hundred here. So we have 105, 110, 115, and then uh, we're missing one here. And uh, we have 124 because I put five into this book. I filled it up. I put a 41S and a 47S. And a few others, uh, like 51, 52S, some, some of those. Really cool. And we got nine silver nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.